by Yuri 3D Workbench, inspired by Jake Parker's drawing of a McDonald. This was awesome fun. <laughs> Okay, so this was a fun, fun build. I just couldn't wait to get this done. Head over to Yuri's page, his description's below his Patreon page. He saw this a drawing that Jake Parker did. Hit his Twitter site up too, it's below. Amazing art, his website's amazing. Uh, and he modeled this, a few little tweaks and changes here and there, but it's pretty much very, very accurate to his drawings, Jake's drawings. And I just loved it and I couldn't wait to print it. And I added a few things, like the eyes, and it's got some lights in the back here you can't see why they're there, since you can't see them. I don't know, I just wanted to do it. Let's go downstairs and see how I put this monster together. Okay, so all the pieces parts were sanded and primed, and then I went looking for some spray paint to make sure we could get some of these colors right. Green for lettuce, cheese, tomato, bun, all kinds of fun stuff. And I think the paint job came out pretty well. Uh, again, you don't really have to worry about a lot of the center area because those are all stacked one on top of each other. Uh, I did find that I didn't go far enough in some of the things, so I would go ahead and paint both ends. Now, the drill bit I should show that I'm using is for plastic. I'm going to have links to all these things. It doesn't cut or um, grab onto the plastic. And I'm just drilling these holes in where we're going to be putting LED. So there's the sensor. And that hole I ended up making bigger. Now I needed some really thin wire to go into this area. So I melted it off with the, uh, like a heat melter thing <laughs> and fit it through. And this is going to actually be the wire that goes into the fry box where the battery and the switch will be. And then the other end will go into the burger out the bottom where I will then, uh, you know, join all the wires together. So I'm just doing a dry fit here to drill all my holes and I will end up making them bigger later on. And I have to do some channeling here so that I can lay parts of the and different lights across this channel so things lay flat. It was a lot of really sort of fooling around, dry fitting and making sure things fit like the eyes. Again, there's a one hole going down one of the sides. So I had to make these channels to make sure that they go through. And of course, test everything. Now, this looks like a royal mess because that's what happens when I wire things. <laughs> but I made sure everything fit together. I tested out that it was lighting up to make sure, you know, I didn't crimp a wire or something. And then I just clamped this up and let the super glue dry, dry, dry. And now we're just going to put together the model. I love this cheese. And we're running all the wire through it. Now, why there's a lot of wire is I left a lot of wire on both ends because I always end up going, oh, I won't need that much. And then uh, I'm short. So uh, I always add a little bit more. And it's just such a cute model. I just cracks me up. Now I welded up or welded. Yeah, I soldered up the uh, sensor and put that in. And now I've got to drill some holes for the turbines in the back. And I'm just sort of gouging some spaces out, being careful for my wire. I should have done these earlier, but I didn't. This is something I would probably do ahead of time now. And now I'm just feeding the turbine wire through, or you could say turbine. It all, people say it different ways. I say turbine. And uh, yeah, there we go. And again, lots and lots of wire, but we are going to cut that off. Now, I also realized, well, how am I going to put this leg on? I realized this a little earlier. <laughs> how am I going to put this leg on with all this wire? Well, I decided to gouge out and pick out a bunch of things underneath the leg here, this whole area, using drills and pliers and my fingers to create uh, a deep enough cavity that once I cut the wires up, I'll be able to tuck them into it and just sort of push them down. Now, again, uh, I'd like to say I thought of this from the beginning, but I remember at one point saying, wait a minute, how am I going to get this leg on? Now, as you can see, I put shrink uh, wrap on everything and it's all tucked down lower and I'm getting ready to glue on the turbines. I'm also going to glue the eyes in because I forgot to glue those in. So I'm going ahead and squeezing some in there. And now it's time to work on the hands. And Yuri put together some amazing instructions. Now, these aren't even all the parts. Those are some of them. The other ones were drying. And I'm just going to go ahead and bang this arm together. Now, 
This looks pretty easy because it's going at 20 times speed and it was fairly easy, but here's the thing, you know, we're dealing with 3D printers, uh, we're dealing with tolerances, and you're going to be using some sandpaper, some rasps to make everything fit. Um, and let things dry thoroughly if you have a uh, chance because things were popping off because I wasn't letting them dry enough. So set the arm down, let it dry, and don't do anything with it. And now I'm just putting these arms in. And I got to tell you, for the millions of parts that are in this thing, that might be a little bit of an exaggeration, although sanding it, I didn't feel that way. And now we've got the fry box. And I just cut in a hole for the wiring and the switch. And then you can see, you can see the wire and the little connector. So I had an extra little one of these left over. So I glued it on. Now I put the battery in the back there and I am not going to glue the fry lid on because I want to be able to take that battery out if it dies. And there it is. And I did. Yes, I kept making him dance. I'm not quite sure why he just looks so happy. And now we're going to be attaching the legs again. Not as easy as it looked. A lot of sanding, a lot of filing. And there he is. The McDonald's. Now, maybe it was because I didn't print things. I print, printed things with maybe with too much infill, although not a lot. I'm trying to make it really light. I ended up making a base. And I got this off Thingiverse. Again, the link will be in the video. And you can see here, his arm fell off. I'll glue it on later. So what I did was I made this base and I used some uh, styrene dowels that I ended up painting. And I put them into the base. And then, of course, it's drilled a hole in the mech's butt. So it would hold it up and he would stand there. And there he is. He, or his bun, his butt bun, I guess. So <laughs> there it is. The mech. I tell you, I love this thing. Now, I didn't weather it because he just looks so cute and I don't want it. Give him the thumbs up. Super, super happy with this build from uh, Jake Parker to Yuri modeling it and it just having a blast putting it together and wiring it. This was such a fun project. So, yeah, I really appreciate this. I mean, Jake Parker for imagining it, Yuri for designing it and having it on his Patreon page for such a ridiculously low, you know, Patreon cost, uh, anything to help that guy out because he does such amazing stuff. And uh, yeah, so, all right, Mech, like and subscribe and say goodbye. Goodbye, Mech. <laughs> I'll see you guys in another video. All right, take it easy. Bye. And if you're wondering, yes. His arm snapped off when I was picking him up, <laughs> so I have to glue that.